Here's a question. When have you ever seen Jesus be in charge of the government? When? Have you? Trick question. You haven't. <laughs> and this has to do with our scripture reading today. In Isaiah 9, 6, it says, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulders. This is important because this is a future promise. So, where does it say that? Where does it say Jesus is going to reign? Pastor Mike, I don't see that. Well, the prophet Isaiah leaps ahead to the kingdom age to when the Lord will reign on this earth, when the Messiah will reign in righteousness and justice from David's throne. It says this in Zechariah 14, verse 9, And the Lord shall be king over all the earth. In that day it shall be. The Lord is one, and his name is one. You see, the government will rest upon his shoulders, affirms his lordship. Lord meaning He's the master. He's in charge. And this verse looks forward to a time future when Christ will reign over a little, literal kingdom upon this earth. And that's what we look for. That's what we look for. We wait for. We're excited about. Um, as I read in Zechariah 14, 9, that's one of the passages. Jesus will display his divine power by bringing order into chaos. It's like a gift that keeps on giving. Okay, I look at it this way. We talk about how the government will be on his shoulders. That's a gift that we're looking forward to. But you know how you get those gifts, you get them, and you're like, wow, that's really cool. But then you forget about them. Like, try to remember all the stuff you got last year for Christmas. You can't. You forget. Stuff gets broken. Maybe re-gift stuff and give it away to somebody else. But sometimes we get gifts that over the years we really, really, really enjoy. You know, now I have a gift that was given to me and I didn't get it at Christmas time, but it's one of those gifts that I keep appreciating. Just like we appreciate the fact that Jesus is going to reign on the earth. That's a gift that keeps giving because we have that hope. It's this. It's my Sprinkles mug. Ooh, Sprinkles the cat. Custom Sprinkles mug right there. Stephanie got that for me. That is my actual cat Sprinkles and it's in a mug form. I love mugs. Love my cat, love mugs, love coffee. And it's the gift that keeps on giving. Knowing that Jesus will reign over this world gives us hope, and it's the gift that gives us hope and keeps on giving. I'm glad that I can look forward to Jesus reigning on the earth. Yeah, it gives me a complete hope in him. Yeah, I don't have to worry about what I hear on the news because I know that Jesus is the final ruler of the world. Wow, that was deep, Stefan. Ah, uh, thank you. I try. Hey! Uh, yeah, okay. See? That reminds me. I was so tired the other night that I slept like a log. Yeah, I woke up in the fireplace. Ha, ha, ha. Now, God had promised to David that his dynasty, his throne, would never end, that it would be established forever. And that's fulfilled in Christ Jesus, who will come one day and reign in Jerusalem. And this kingdom reign is known as the millennium, the thousand year reign. And um, this phrase is used six times in Revelation 20. And we can see a little glimpse of it in the book of Revelation in chapter 19. What it looks like when he comes, when he comes to reign, when he comes for a second time. It says this in Revelation 19, verse 11 through 16. It's a little long, so hang on. Now I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse. And he who sat on him was called Faithful and True. Who's that? Jesus, Sunday school answer. And in righteousness he judges and makes war. His eyes are like a flame of fire, and on his head are many crowns. He has a name written that no one knew, that no one knew except himself. He was clothed with a robe, dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. This is our Savior. And the armies of heaven, clothed in fine linen, white and clean, follow him on white horses. Now out of his mouth goes a sharp sword. That's the word of God. 
that with it he should strike the nations. And see, isn't that cool? He'll strike the nations with this word that comes out of mouth. Remember Genesis 1? What did God the Father do? He created the world out of his mouth, spoke it into existence. It's God. <laughs> and he himself will rule them with a rod of iron. He himself treads the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God. And he has on his robe and on his thigh a name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Now, if you want to go further with this, I encourage you, dive into the book of Revelation 19, 20, uh, 21. Dive into it. Check it out. Don't just take my word for it. Because we see Jesus ruling even after the millennial reign. After the thousand years is up, Jesus keeps reigning. Why? Because he's our Lord. He's our master. That's what we have to look forward to. That is the gift that keeps on giving. And now it's time to dig deeper with Dudley. You know... I get so excited that Jesus will rule and reign on the earth. Mm -hmm. He's going to be in charge and make all things new. Yeah. Oh, that is good. Because you know, sometimes I feel kind of old and <laughs> stinky. Oh, 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 and I want to be a new Sasquatch. Yeah. <laughs> Me too, Benny. Me too. Always remember, when you dig down deep, you gotta hit rock. And Jesus is our rock. Yeah. <laughs> so, with that, let's pray. Lord, thanks for this day. Thank you that we have promises that we have yet to see fulfilled, but we can hope in and have glory in. When we think about Christmas, we remember that you will also come again to reign forever. Pray you bless our day, Jesus, in your precious name. Amen. God bless you.